Hi everyone, welcome to the afternoon edition of Tea Time where we bring you the best in the world of entertainment. This afternoon it's going to be an interview with a Nollywood actor and we'll be telling you who that is soon enough. I'm Tokun Botairo and I'm here with Ife Oshunkeye. What up? What's up man? Okay. No special introduction for me today. You're saving it for the guests. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're getting like Elsie now. She always wants special introductions on no, a daily I'm just basis. At least not here, so. I just thought with all of the birthday parties that you've had, you know, you'd have had too much of an icing on your cake. No pun intended, right? No pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> so what's new? What's good? What's happening? Um, what's I don't know if you saw the video of um, the girl that uh, Offset cheated with. Oh, yeah. And um, you know... Cardi B said mm -hmm. she's calling off the wedding with Offset and it would take a while for them to get divorced. So the girl was remorseful and she was crying and she was like, she didn't know their marriage was that serious. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, th their married door, are you saying? You didn't know it was that serious. Like, does it ever happen that... No, but this wasn't recent now. I think they had slept together before... They were married then. Before the birth of... Culture, yes. Of culture. Yeah, just a few weeks before the birth of culture. That's and what I'm saying. I don't realize think... we realized they were married. Don't yes, argue but... with me, bro. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. What <laughs> I'm saying is that she definitely probably could not have realized that they were, that they they were, were serious. Married. Because at that time, I don't think they had even announced. The, that's what I'm oh, saying. okay. Yes. I get where you're coming from. Yeah. But come on, man. You're trying to defend mm. her. If, uh, I'm just saying, man. You're no, I'm not the trying lawyer. to defend you're, her. I'm you're, saying you're, that the girl was just... <laughs> I think she's just looking for cheap publicity. Oh, come on. Really Someone good. that is remorseful. No, she's not remorseful. She, come on. How not. can you tell me you didn't know the marriage was that serious? Like, come on. I don't think she was talking about the marriage. I think she was talking about the relationship. She said marriage all right then. did you did you watch the video all right i think it's time to introduce See? our studio guest now you're running away <laughs> <laughs> you've been caught uh okay so um he's a fast rising nollywood actor he's a model entrepreneur and a compare as well he has featured in some series of super story binta and friends this life and many more he's also a prominent face in home videos and has featured in movies like champions of our time tenyola the revenge the ransom and much more. With almost 60,000 followers on Instagram, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce the jolly, jovial, and the just like that, Jide Awobono. <laughs> I, I didn't say the name right, yeah? You, you, actually, you actually did that one. Yeah, she got it. Right. Really? You but did. you were like, <laughs> I no, see no, why no, you no, say no, it right. No, 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 that wasn't for the name. Oh, it was for the the, the grand juice yes. and all that. Okay, <laughs> you did alone. Tokumbo, Tokumbo. Oh, Tosabo. Okay, so Thanks good to have you. Me. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so if I has the first question. Uh, okay, so um, while I was flipping through your pictures on the internet, okay. I realized you had dreadlocks and one so was that for a movie or you actually had the dreads on for a while well i had it on for a while and it was for a movie okay so yeah. how long for like um three months okay so how, how did it feel do you, did you like it it's something i still want to have again yeah because the look was I, I, it was really it. nice i love it yeah, but it then was. some of my fans are calling me telling me to get it back and stuff but then as an actor you can keep a particular look for a long time because of some other rules, yeah. you understand? So I don't want to be stereotyped. Okay. Yeah. And Craft is one movie I really love because I've seen that, definitely. Thank and you. Um, what inspired Craft? Was that, was it something you heard about or you were just being creative? Because you produced that as well, Yes, right? I did. Yeah, so was it? Well, funny enough, um, when I wanted to make a movie, I just sat back and I was like, okay, I want to do something different, something out of the ordinary, you know, something that a lot of people would try to run away from, mm -hmm. but it's a reality, so. The idea came and I made it happen. I didn't okay. know it was so going to be So not accepted. like it was somebody's story that you... No. Or... No. Or something but you were involved in yourself? At all, I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, I wasn't. You know, one thing about me is when I'm trying to conceive any idea, I just, I'm like, I want to do a story, please, God. I need this inspiration. I don't know how it comes. I just thought about it and it came up. So I built it with my, with my team and we, we gave birth to craft. Mm. And not even up to two weeks that I finished producing, um, that, was on, that was on producing crafts, somebody sent me a picture of a girl, of a guy that was trying to do that same thing. So some soldiers caught him and they... Yeah, yeah. I yeah, you saw it. That, yeah. that was like two weeks after my movie. Mm. Like, okay, so you gave somebody out. a bad idea? No, 
<laughs> he's, been, he's been doing it. Oh, I you see. You understand? This guy has been doing it. My movie was not how I'm talking about after filming. Oh, okay, the movie okay. was not even out then. Okay. Mm -hmm. You understand? So that's for you to know that, yeah, sometimes um, you get inspirations about things that actually happen that you're not even aware of yourself. Mm. Wow. Okay. But, but sorry, yeah. for just for clarity, for people that haven't seen Craft, can you just tell them what Craft was about? So because people will be wondering, <laughs> you know, what are they talking about? Well, Craft yeah. is a story of like of three guys that are jobless. After graduating like eight years, they're trying to get employment and stuff. You know, this country now is that for you to get a job. So eventually, they ventured into disguising to be females, coming guys and all that. But it boomeranged eventually, and they got caught. But these guys went all out, shaved their beds and everything. You won't even know their guys. Trust it's a me, beautiful one. I too. would. <laughs> 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 did, did you see Frank? Frank fell for the guy. You know, like, yeah. You, you marry, said, marry me? No way. <laughs> That's Bolan Lane in all the way. Before we actually shot, it was like, did they know? You mean? I wouldn't, exactly what you said, no, I would know. After finishing my makeup and everything, I was like, Jide, is this you? <laughs> okay, can we shoot? <laughs> so apart from that, are there any other current projects that you're working on at the moment or okay. that you've recently finished? Okay, talking about my own movies, I did Spunk after that. Mm -hmm. Then after Spunk, I did my reunion. Spunk is out already. My reunion is going to be out soon. Then I did a short movie, Yelewa. Okay, mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about Spunk. Spunk, I don't know. I don't know why I like talking about family stories. Stories that actually has something to do with the happening to understand. So the story of Spunk is about, um, you know, some churches or some clergies will tell you no sex before marriage and all that. I didn't say yes, I didn't say no. You understand? So Spunk is telling us that yes, you need to find out about your, the sexual strength of your partner before you actually going to married. Mm -hmm. So this couple actually got married on mm -hmm. the wedding night um, they they discovered that the guy couldn't erect. Okay. You understand, you know. Then there was pressure from the mother in law. This is Africa, you know how it is. They always feel the problem is from the wife. Mm -hmm. You understand all the time. But knowing fully well that yes, this is actually the guy's problem. And the lady in, you know, we African ladies they like protecting their men and all that she kept it. But she has a very lousy friend who was always giving her bad ideas and stuff. Fine, mm -hmm. maybe a good one this time around. Babe, go do IVF or something. Fine, you don't mm -hmm. want to leave your marriage. Then mm -hmm. go to IVF and bring it up. So she went for this IVF. This guy got got mad about it. Wow. He he was on drugs, he mm -hmm. was on pills and stuff. So mm -hmm. one night she just went out. When it just, oh, so this lady came home telling the guy she was pregnant. So the guy got out, he went out, he got drunk, oh. he met one prostitute, oh. he had sex eventually. So he Well, he, yeah. he had an erection. Yes, so he did. So maybe she was the problem. No, she wasn't the problem. Def over the, the, the period, mm -hmm. he was on pills, you know, there was oh. no communication, oh, you okay, understand? Okay, okay. There was no communication. That was, that's the, the power of communication, you understand? Mm -hmm. So instead of the guy to get, the guy actually got angry because the babe didn't tell him before she went for the IVF. Oh, and okay. he was angry, she confided in a friend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, it's time for a break. When we return, we'll be continuing in our conversation with Nollywood actor Jide Awobono. We'll be right back. What we do not understand, we will stigmatize. What you can see is the remaining of the tanker that exploded. The suspect equally confessed. A 500 naira they collect them. With no talk, they will beat you. Now two to other five and they Welcome back. You're watching Tea Time right here on Plus TV Africa. Next up, a continuation of our conversation with actor Jide Awobono. So, um, tell us a little bit about your experience because um, you you were in Hush as well, the series. Yes. You know, so how was that? And you know, working with the other um, people as well. 
Well, that was another beautiful experience for me. But for me, there was no big deal. I guess maybe because I've been on this job for quite a, a while, do you understand? How long, to be precise? Oh, it's not half about how I don't like talking about it. No, I tried <laughs> digging that up, but okay. I couldn't place over it like a decade, yeah, no. over a decade. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, no, you were saying something, then I have a follow up yes, question. Yes, I said it was, it was a beautiful experience yeah. for me having to play a tailor. Funny enough, I'm into designing as well. So, okay. when I got the role to come in, I'm like, wow, I don't sew, but then I designed. But on Hush, I had to do some little sewing and all that. Then, working with RMD mm -hmm. was, was a privilege. You understand? That was the first time I'll be working directly with him. And most of the artists were actually fun to be with. Yeah. Mm. What were, were there any challenges whatsoever? Yes. Um, challenges are expected in every production, you understand? But one of the major challenges we had then was, um, that I had then was, I had to be on set sometimes as early as 6 a.m. Sometimes I have to be on Jennifer's diary sets. Mm -hmm. My schedule were clashing, clashing. you understand? Oh. So sometimes I had to call and say, I'm sorry, I can't make it, you know? And that's one thing I don't really like doing. Mm -hmm. oh, but were God. they understanding or were they like... Uh... You know, as, as humans, we all are selfish in our different ways, mm -hmm. you understand? Mm -hmm. So I'm saying they will feel like, okay, fine, you're, you're not treating us well. But then deep mm -hmm. down, they mm -hmm. know that, yes, no, it's something beyond my control. Do okay. you understand? Okay. okay, I'm glad you brought up um, Jennifer's diary. The reason why I asked you to be precise on how long you've been in the industry is because... Um, if you check, um, what was the series you called? The first series you called? Harsh. No, no, the so. first. Oh, no. Super Story. Super, Super Story. Yes. You've yes. been, you've been doing, you've been working since Super Story. Mm -hmm. So, would you attribute your success to Funky Akindele? Because I think people really started to recognize <laughs> you after Jennifer's Diary. So, would you attribute well, your success? Well, I, to I that? get this question a lot, but then I would still say, my real fans. My real fans will sit here and they will tell you all my movies from Superstory, Binta and Friends and all mm -hmm. that. Fine, I'm not disputing the fact that most of my fans now are actually from Jennifer's Diary. But then, I've been there, then a lot of people can actually testify to one or two things that I've done. But then I still give credit to Jennifer's Diary any mm -hmm. other time. Okay. Like 60 percent of my fans today are actually from Jennifer's Diary. Okay. okay. My guy, you get one trick I want to learn from you. Oh, yeah, which one? Uh -huh. So, you had your child just a few minutes before your birthday. So, how do you think you are now? Well, I'm still... <laughs> I, I think this is the time I have to let the cat out of the bag. That is not actually my child. He's a, he's a godson. Okay. A lot of us don't understand what it means to have a godson, mm -hmm. you understand? So, but I'm, I'm still waiting Do you to... want to educate But how come me? you haven't <laughs> clarified... <laughs> no. This or you feel in time. Like, Some people called me. Mm -hmm. My very close ones actually called, and I, yeah. I don't have to. You know, you know. But clarify. you should have done a press release or something to let people know that because a lot of people. Well, I think that's one of the packages of uh, 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 your of lifestyle this, or the career. The career. Uh, let me understand. See, see even if I come out and say they will say mm -hmm, they will still. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So you need to be very. And sometimes I, I can decide to keep some things mm -hmm. private. My brother, you, you need that press release. Should I tell you why? <laughs> why? Oh, girl was crushed. She's like, what's going on? Why has a child? Yeah, and as soon as, as I was digging up on you, and I put, she said, he has a child. Oh, she was disappointed. It's so funny that's the only one that, that, that went, uh, that, like, that trended, you understand? Because mm -hmm. there was a time, a lot, of, a lot of people actually thought I have like four children, you understand? Mm -hmm. I have a niece, my mom. My mom's like, my mom's going to be 10 next year. A lot of people actually thought my mom is my child because all my nieces and nephews, I take them like mine. I love mm. children a lot. Do you understand? But I don't have one yet. Okay. So, <laughs> okay. The child so, is not yours. So whose child is it? It's my friend's child, you understand? He actually gave birth. I, I monitored the pregnancy because we were very close. Uh -huh. I told him. We, I actually had a bet. I'm like, your wife is going to put to bed on my birthday. Mm -hmm. yeah. But she actually did at about um, maybe some minutes to 12. Okay. February 8th. I'm February 9th. She gave it some minutes to 12 on the 8th of February. Oh. So like, this is my first birthday gift. It got some. Okay. Mm. All right. So speaking about things that have gotten you into the news, there was one time that they were saying that you were in a relationship with Ayoa Disoya. How, how true? Imagine. I was like, I need I to clarify. It's, it's my big sister, you understand, but because we were very close. And mm -hmm. sometimes I like to be district. You don't have to know everything about me. Mm -hmm. You understand? I choose to keep some things to private. myself. You understand? To private. You know. Sometimes they just see us together. They don't know. I was more like um, a PA, okay. or more like a brother. We produce together, we do stuff together, I coordinate our productions, and we're very close. She's okay. fun to be with, she play a lot. So if you see her and I, you can insinuate anything because mm -hmm. we play a lot. Okay. So when that news um, came up, I was just like, how can you even 
think like that, like that. to get. Okay. And what was this whole, you know, I don't know if it was a beef between you and Tunde Ednot or so it seems same something about, you know, you kissed the, an actress or something like that. It wasn't a beef. If you know Tunde Ednot very well and you follow mm -hmm. his page very well, that's what he's actually, he promotes such that things, thing. you understand. <laughs> it was a behind the scene Okay, stuff, so, so there was nothing much to it then at, at the time. At all. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, so your producer, you're an actor. If you had to choose one, what would he be? Well, acting. I'll choose acting over and over again. But wow. then I think I found myself producing now because it's not, it's not fun producing. It's actually stressful. Okay. Especially when you still have to be on set as an actor. It's so tedious. It's, it's such an equivalent task, you understand? I don't, if sometimes I feel like I'm not, I'm not producing again. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? If there's any other thing I want to do again, maybe he directs him. But then, because... But, sorry, can I just quickly say, but in, in, um, in comparison, you know, do you not think it's um, rewarding at the end of the day or that the benefits, you know, far outweigh, you know, the, the exhaustion that you feel from, from the work? Does that make sense, or do I need to clarify again? I understand your point, if okay. it's actually worth it. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Is it worth it, and do you think that's the case? Well, we're, we're getting there. Room wasn't built in a day. Mm -hmm. mm. You understand? If you could ask if Kulina Falayon today or Moabudu, they will tell you, man. <laughs> it's just about um, your reason why you're doing this, you understand? Mm -hmm. So sometimes you overlook the challenges, you overlook the flaws, and you just keep doing it till you get to your destination. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Um, let's take a quick break and All then right. maybe you can ask him your question. Okay. All right. So when we return, it will be time to carry on with our conversation and with more of our questions with Nollywood actor Jide Awobono. Don't go anywhere. It's where the big stories live. This is Plus TV Africa. When I did it, I was full on, hands on, on the whole project. So how did you deal with it? All of that negative. I got depressed, obviously. Of duh. Haven't you heard? I've got two of the hottest topics currently trending on social media. If you've seen the word Senate trending on Twitter, that's because the Nigerian police force has gone Trump style. I probably I haven't shared this with anyone, but I reckon I get about like a hundred people asking for help a day. That's a fact. I can prove that. Welcome back, it's still tea time right here on Plus TV Africa and we're swiftly moving on in our conversation with screen star Jide Awobono. Okay, so um, you've been on TV, you've been in Hollywood movies, you know, so, and you've also done it um, because you do some of the Yoruba films as well, correct me if I'm wrong. Yes. Yes, and you do English films as well. So, yes. I mean, you've, you, you've like done it all. So I want to clarify where your stance is in terms of what you prefer and what you like and which one you think is better, you know, the English Nollywood films, the Yoruba Nollywood films, or if you prefer <laughs> TV generally? Well, I prefer TV generally. Okay. But I'm Yoruba, do you understand? And as a Yoruba actor, I think the best way to really express your talent is in your language, do you understand? I'm not saying you're not going to express yourself when you're speaking English or something, but then if it's English, you're battling with so many things. You understand? This is not my language. I'm borrowing it. Am I saying the right things? Am I... Pron pronunciations. And pronunciation, like the dictions and everything. Am I doing it the right way? Mm -hmm. But if it's my language, I can decide not... I can decide to improvise. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. I can decide... It's my language. Please, mm -hmm. except there are proverbs and stuff. Mm -hmm. But with English scripts, then some writers will tell you, some directors, no, I want you to stick to these lines. Don't and be give, rigid I don't want it. your English. Please, Ooh. stick to Ooh. these lines. <laughs> stick, you understand? Which is fine. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? But then there's so many other factors which will still make me prefer. Mm -hmm to do the English movies, you understand? There are pros and cons, you understand? Okay. But like today before I got here, I got a call to be on the set of Forbidden. Okay. okay. And I'm supposed to be on another set tomorrow, a Europe set tomorrow. But then I have to wait. Which do I want to go for? I've not still made up my mind. I'm still thinking. Okay, so, so how, how do, do you, you make... Exactly, <laughs> yeah, go. There's so many factors. <laughs> there are so many factors we know. The, uh, the, the strength of the role mm -hmm. um, I'm to play. 
on either of the the productions than the remuneration, which is the cocoa. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And speaking about that, you know, what sort of figures do we usually get? Because you are someone who has been in the industry for a long time. So what you were getting at that time and what you're getting now will obviously not be the same thing. So would you say you're more highly remunerated now as opposed to then? And and then we can't, we can't even forget that. The money at the time, you know, the rate of inflation at that time was not as high as now. So we need to take that into consideration. What would you say in terms of the remuneration for actors generally and in your particular case? But I'm not going to generalize. I want to talk about myself now. Okay. You understand? Because Even better. <laughs> when I'm, I've grown. <laughs> okay. You understand? But fortunately for me, when I started this career professionally, I was, I was being paid. Okay. You understand? So I agree with the mentality of when I work, I have to get paid. Mm -hmm. You understand? But some producers will make you feel like, oh, we're giving you a these on a platter of gold. You mm -hmm. understand? Coming on my screen for the first time. What have you done before? No. Ooh. Some actors are willing to do this for free. You understand? But unfortunately, I started working and I was being paid, paid immediately. Okay. So I agree with that orientation that when you work, you have to be paid. Even then, I was willing to do it for free, you understand? But now I'm not ready to do it for free because it's, anything, it's depriving me from doing other things. things okay. My business are failing because I'm not always there to, mm -hmm. to monitor it, to let it grow. So then these crafts that I enjoy so much that I thought I would be able to do for free then, man, it has to put food on my table, mm -hmm. yes. you understand? But I've actually grown. Okay, yeah. but if I still has another question yeah, on I'm, this. I'm glad you even brought up um, your businesses uh, are suffering from the fact that you have to be on the set or whatever. Yes. Because a lot of people believe that when, um, especially the actresses, mm -hmm. when they build a house, when they buy a car, they have to be sleeping with somebody for them to get that, or you're a sugar boy to one, you know, because <laughs> you're a popular one. face and all that. Yeah. So tell us, what other businesses are you involved in apart from? acting well aside the fact that i anchor event that one is very flexible i anchor yeah. event just one day thing i get my money i get off you mm -hmm. understand i design clothes mm -hmm. which i have not really been steadfast with i've not really been doing well because i'm not always and is there. this one of yours or this is one of what i create you understand mm -hmm. then i there was a time I learned how to make hair. It was just when Funky Akindelika sent me for, okay, for oh, a yeah. role. She, okay. didn't, she had no idea I knew about it. You understand? It was like, Jide, so you can actually do this. Oh, my God. <laughs> and, and I'm doing something right here. Yeah, you understand? I learned it somewhere. So I opened a salon. Because I went to learn because I wanted to have an idea before I actually did. So I opened a unisex salon. But then it's gone now. So okay. I don't get there. Did so Okay. The problems were far outweighed, you know, the business in terms of getting yes, the customers. Yes, you, you have to be, not just yeah. getting the customer, to, to manage, monitor. Oh, monitor. If you're not there, man, okay. your business won't grow. Okay, let me quickly ask you something because I know you have a question. Yeah. Um, it's just still back on the part of um, remuneration. Okay. You know, so in the industry now, it, when you get a role, is it like um, there's a standard fee or you tend to negotiate or it's whatever they say that you you generally accept or do you generally um, negotiate? Well, there is really no fixed price. Do okay. you negotiate generally? If you call okay. me for your job, you tell me you're paying me one million naira. If I'm not comfortable, I can say, no, I'm not taking this, I'm, mm -hmm. paying, I'm taking one. Mm -hmm. It all depends on if you want to go with what I want or not. Okay, and um, nine times out of 10, do they go higher or? Most of the time they have a budget and they don't want to. Exceed that they, budget. Do you understand? So they'll be like, okay, fine, if you can take it, and if you don't? Like last week, I, I turned out two jobs because they were... They were not up to standard. Do you understand? Not standard, but the remuneration, I, I wasn't cool with. Not oh. super, but then okay. I'm like, no, I'm not taking this. Okay. Okay, okay. still based on the okay. um, remuneration issue. What if you like the story so much? And you think, okay, this would be very impactful in the society, but the money is not good. Would you go for it? That is where the passion actually comes in. Do you yeah. understand? I'm not. I do free jobs sometimes, but then, uh, well, there, there are a lot of reasons, there are a lot of factors that will determine me doing that. You understand? It might be the relationship between me and the producer, or probably the, the, there's, a, there's an agreement that actually says, okay, maybe after now. I'm going to give you something, you understand, that kind of everything. Or maybe just my love for the script, the role. Or, oh, man, this is what I've been waiting for. I'm mm -hmm. going to do this for free, do you understand? But then, don't forget, I have bills to pay, mm -hmm. do you understand? Yeah. Sure. So it shouldn't happen all the time. All right. So my reunion, a little bit told me you're releasing that on YouTube tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> why YouTube, though? Because a lot of people would probably want to have a premiere yes. and then they that's make, the in thing you know, now. put it in, in cinemas, trying mm -hmm. to get money. Why YouTube? 
Well, I'm putting it on YouTube as a giveaway. Okay. Oh, Christmas gift, eh? Christmas giveaway. Oh, you understand? Yeah. So, I've shot it since like um, June. I'm like, yeah. let me just put it out there. And it's mixed of um, Yoruba and English, you understand? So, okay. And most of the actors are strictly Yoruba actors, you understand? So, they have a larger audience on YouTube. All right, so give us a spoiler. What's, what would it be about? Well, YouTube, you, this is December, and this is when. Um, all the old students are having their re reunions and all that. So I'm trying to let people know that mm -hmm. yes, it's not all reunions you attend. <laughs> and mm -hmm. if you're going for any reunion, what have you done in the past when you were in school? Uh, okay. So my reunion <laughs> is actually a story. Uh -huh. <laughs> Man, everyone has to see this movie. Mm -hmm. okay. It's actually about um, old lovers who actually meeting and a lot of secrets and everything are now okay. coming to play. Okay. All right. All right. And that's precisely where we're going to wrap up this afternoon. We're back tomorrow with brand new episodes of the program. Until then, a big thank you to my co-anchor, Ife, the entire production team, and of course, our guest on the program, GD Awobono. Thank, thank you, you very much. Me. All right. I'm Takumbo Taiwe saying thanks for watching. And from all of us here, have yourself a lovely evening.